ginza.se so they had another sale going on and I of course had to get some stuff I, I, I was not really expecting to to find stuff at the sale because I had just bought stuff from Ginza and I just thought that the um, the, the sale that went on now uh, was basically the same one as I had seen before um, they did send send out an email about it, but I just figured that I just caught it before they sent out the email or something. I don't know. I was just thinking that it's the same sale. Never mind. Um, but I, I started looking through it and I found some stuff that I had not seen before and that I really wanted to see. And so I added them to the uh, to the basket and then I, I found some more stuff and then I thought, well, I'll just look through all of the... 150 pages or whatever it was a lot of stuff so but I found some stuff I chose a few things here from those hundred of uh, from those 150 pages or whatever um, and uh, first up we have let the right one in which I kind of forgot about actually uh, but this is really really great I've been looking for this one on blu-ray I have found it on DVD for a pretty good price but I've been, been wanting to see this again on blu-ray um, and now I finally found it for a good price, so that is really good, really great. I've only seen it once, and that's probably when when it first came out, I think, maybe shortly after. And I've seen the remake as well, uh, but I especially want to see the original Swedish movie again. So this is of course the uh, the Swedish title. Um, but yeah, I remember it being really great, of course, and uh, can't wait to check it out again. And then we have a show here that I was super stoked to find. It's Enlightened Season 1 and Season 2 with Laura Dern for a really good price. These were only 29 crowns each and I I, um, I would not have been able to find these for, for the same price anywhere else. So that's really great. Um, been wanting to see this show before and I think I was gonna pick it up at some point but then it went out of stock and I was just made me all bitter of course but now I found it again and I was really happy about that it's an HBO sort of drum dramedy I guess um, and uh, these are the only two seasons that exist so uh, I managed to get the whole series for a really great price so I'm very happy about that uh, then also very happy about this the oranges this is a movie that when I saw the cover and when I read the title, I was like, that sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard about this movie once upon a time and sort of added it, added it to my memory, memory or to my, you know, my mental wish list, but then maybe forgot about it. And uh, so I looked it up and I remembered why I want, wanted to see it. It's basically pretty much because of the cast, because one of my favorite actors here, Oliver Platt, um, as well as Catherine Keener, they were actually in a movie together called Please Please Give, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> which I rem remember, re re <laughs> remember really liking, but I don't actually remember much from the movie, which is how it is sometimes, I guess, <laughs> but um, anyway, and then Hugh Laurie, uh, Alison Janney, um, Adam Brody is in this apparently, but especially because of Oliver Platt, as well as Catherine Keener and Hugh, Hugh Laurie is the reason why why I get this and um, and I was happy to um, to find out that this was the movie that I had uh, been wanting to see for a little while but forgot about actually but anyway so I'm not sure if it's gonna be great but I really wanna see it um, then we have a documentary called Bill Cunningham New York which is um, a documentary about I think an 80 year old fashion designer or something no no I'm sorry he's a photographer but it looks like he could have been a fashion f designer you know based on the cover but no he's a photographer you can tell there and it's um, yeah legendary photographer uh, actually he's um, taken pictures of um, fashion and I don't know. It's it's it the um, the subject doesn't really matter too much to me. But a well-made documentary about a person and this person's life, you know, it it, it it's it's uh, I, I like that stuff. So and then I got the Mighty Boosh special edition DVD. 
Uh, I'm not sure if this might be out of print elsewhere, but on, on Ginza they had it for a good price, 29 crowns. Which I this this is not one of those uh, shows that I've been dying to see, because I'm not sure if it's really for me. I mean, it's obviously absurdist humor, uh, really surreal, strange comedy, which a lot of people have said that they've had trouble getting into. And I've seen a couple sketches on YouTube, and uh, it is strange. But I think I just gotta gotta see it from the be from the beginning to make a fair judgment or assessment of the show and. Um, and then we'll see if I like it. Um, so I don't know, but this was just so cheap that I had to get it once and for all. I mean, I've known about this show for a long time, and I rec recognized this box set from years ago. And uh, I'm happy to have this. It looks pretty good, and it was it was cheap, so of course I had to get that. I might not watch it yet, but eventually I will. Then we call. Uh, then, then we have a show called Ettor och Nollor, meaning ones and zeros, I guess. Which is a show that I remember seeing on TV, or I, I just caught a glimpse of it, and I recognized this actor, Mons Hangrien, and I was like, "Is that Mons Hangrien? Uh, he, he's, uh, I know him as like more of a, a light-hearted, maybe comedic actor for the most part. I'm not sure if that's exactly how he started out, and it's not, he's not a comedian per se, but he, it was just, of some reason, strange for me to see the very dramatic role he appeared to be playing." In this show, and I, I just caught a glimpse of it, of uh, of it, like I said, but it just seemed like he, uh, it, it just seemed like something I wanted to see. And this was a few years ago. This show is from 2013, so I guess, I guess it wasn't too long ago, but in 2013. And um, yeah, since then, been wanting to see this, and now I found it for a good price. So I'm looking forward to checking this out, also with Sk Gustav Skarsgård. And um, Shell Wilhelmsen, he's a really, really great actor who's been featured in a, in a few TV shows lately. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's uh, maybe a couple, yeah, part one and two, so uh, three hours in total. Then we have a movie with Billy Connolly called The Man Who Sued God. Which the only reason why I got this is because it's it's with Billy Connolly. I don't really think it sounds great. I think it sounds kind of. I'm not sure. I just. It's about a man who literally sues God. In 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 the, in court. I think, and it just it sounds kind of. I don't know. I I don't know. I just I don't know. Honestly, I just. Uh, I'm not sure if I like the idea of that, but um, I will check it out because of Billy Connolly. And then the last thing, this is a nice box that I wasn't expecting this. The best out of Slängde i Brunnen, which um, is, when is this from? 1991 to 1999. Three times, one, oh, times 180 minutes, so what, nine hours? Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff. So this was a show uh, recorded at a restaurant in Stockholm um, concerning stand-up comedy. And it has a bunch of, of, of recognizable Swedish people who got their start here or who maybe just, who, just, who, may, who did performances that I might not have seen. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. If the camera will cut me off right now, it's because the battery is dying. But I'm going to try to round this off. Um, so, but that's that. That's those are the things that I got this time, and I'm very happy with the haul. So yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. Wow, the camera didn't cut me off. Okay, bye bye.